Here we are in the MATLAB IDE. Let's take a look at the Layout button, which is available in the Tool Strip. One click will open up a drop-down menu. You can always select the default layout. From here, all of these sections will be highlighted when you click in them. You can also adjust the width and height of these sections by dragging the arrows next to them. Additionally, you can move these sections around as you please. Let's say I want my workspace to the left of my command window, click and hold, and drag it to the location that you want. If you mess up and want to start over, no problem. You can click Layout and Default to go back to the original setup. You can also choose to exclude certain sections, so you don't want to show the current folder, simply click the current folder and it disappears from our viewing pane. Again, always returning with the default. Feel free to play around and choose a setup that you like best. These IDEs are made to be customized by you for your optimal programming. The other thing I want to show you is setting your preferences. In here, you have tons of options. You can change different fonts. If you go to the font tab, I've actually increased my font size to be able to show you these tutorials with greater clarity. But you can change the type of font and do other system configurations. One big one that I want to go through is colors. Here, I've selected use system colors, and you may have different ones based on the defaults that are set. I like to use a black background with white text. And I've already set my defaults as such. You can change your background color to black here, and you can change your text to white here. What you're going for is an IDE that offers a lot of contrast between the background and the text that is displayed. If I apply this and click OK, my typing is now very visible, and I avoid that white glare that comes from an all-white screen. It's my personal preference to use the black background, and I encourage you to play around with different color settings that best fit your vision and your eyes. You can always go back to using system colors and applying that to get back to the defaults. As I mentioned, I will continue with a black background for personal preferences. You can change other items as well as we go through MATLAB, and this will be up to your preferences when you start to use these items and you'll see the colors show up on the screen. That concludes this video on the MATLAB IDE, the place where we will do all of our programming.